Hello everyone. In this video, let's understand what is an LDR sensor. LDR stands for light dependent resistor, which means that the resistance of this sensor varies according to the intensity of light that is falling on the sensor. So you can see from this graph here, the Y axis is for resistance and the X axis is for light intensity. From the graph, you can see that as the intensity of light increases, the resistance of this sensor starts decreasing and vice versa when the light intensity decreases the resistance starts increasing. This is how a LDR sensor looks and this is the circuit we are going to use to understand how LDR sensor works. You can observe in this circuit that LDR sensor is being used in series with another resistor. I guess you have already seen the voltage divider network video and you understand how to convert a variable resistance into variable voltage and this variable voltage will be fed to the transistor to turn it on and off. You might ask the question here why only use 100k in series to the LDR sensor and why not a 10k resistor. Let's go ahead and rig up a circuit with a 10k resistor and observe the results. You can see here I have placed the LDR sensor and a 10k resistor in series. Now let me go ahead and give 5 volts to the resistor and make the other end of the LDR sensor to ground. So I'll be connecting the other end of the LDR sensor to the ground and one end of the resistor will be given to plus 5 volts. And the junction between the LDR sensor and the 10k resistor will be given to the voltmeter to observe the change in the voltage. I'm connecting 5 volts to one end of the resistor and the other end of the LDR sensor is being connected to ground. Now let's measure the voltage at the junction of the LDR sensor and the 10k resistor. I'm taking a wire and connecting the junction to the voltmeter. So if you connect to the pin volt which is present in header number 4 then you will be able to measure the voltage at the junction of the LDR sensor and the 10k resistor. Let's measure the voltage by turning on the voltmeter on the Android app. So you can see here right now we are getting a voltage of somewhere around 3.8 volts or something from the junction of the LDR sensor and the 10k resistor. What we have done here is we have taken a 10 resistor and an LDR this end is connected to plus 5 volts and this is grounded and we are measuring the voltage at this particular point I guess you are aware about this particular circuit we had used this in transistor as a switch so can you recollect what is the minimum voltage required to turn on the transistor if you said 0.7 then you are right so we need at least 0.7 volts to turn on this transistor and we want the voltage to go below 0.7 volts to turn off the transistor so if we want to connect this particular point to the transistor and we want to automatically control this led from the ldr sensor we have to make sure that the voltage at this particular point goes below 0.7 and above 0.7 according to the intensity of the light. Now let me vary the intensity of light that is falling on the LDR sensor by using a torch. So you can see that I am trying to use a torch and as I bring the light closer to the sensor observe how the voltage has started to reduce in the voltmeter. So now I am bringing the torch much closer to the sensor now. So if we want to turn off or on the transistor using this LDR sensor, we have to make sure that the voltage goes below 0.7 volts. You can see that I need to bring the torch very close to the sensor to make it go below 0.7 volts. Once I reduce the intensity of light, again the voltage goes back to above 0.7 volts. So if we can give this particular voltage as an input to the base of the transistor, so we should be able to control the transistor switching automatically. Now the question is, 
When we use 10K resistor, we need to take the light source pretty close to the sensor. Let's see what happens when we change this value to 100K. So instead of 10K, I'm going to replace this value by 100K and let's see the behavior of the circuit. Now you can see that for the ambient light that is already present in the room, the voltage is already at 0.9 volts and I'm bringing the light closer slightly and even though the torch is not within the camera frame, you can see that voltage is already below 0.7 volts, right? So now the sensor has become more sensitive to light. So even a light source which is pretty far away the sensor is able to sense that particular light. What we understand from this is selecting this resistor is very important to decide the sensitivity of the LDR. So the sensitivity of this LDR sensor will completely depend on the value of the resistor you choose. So that is how you need to design your circuit so that your LDR sensor is designed appropriately to handle the light conditions. In the next step, let's build this particular circuit and connect the base of the transistor to the junction of the LDR sensor and the resistor. Let's make this connection and see the circuit in action. Now I'm placing the current limiting 1K resistor and let me connect the emitter of the terminal to ground. Now let's make this connection from the junction of the LDR sensor and the resistor to the base of the transistor. connect the junction to the base of the transistor. You can think of this circuit as a street lamp control circuit. When there is sun or bright light, then the lamp should turn off automatically. And when there is darkness, the lamp should turn on, right? So what we'll do is we'll uh, take uh, the light source again near to the sensor and the LED should turn off automatically and when we take the light source away from the sensor the LED should turn on. So this will replicate the turning on and off of the street light. You can see that as soon as I bring the light source closer to the circuit the LED is turned off and you also observe how the voltage has gone below 0.7 volts and now when I remove the light source away from the circuit, you can see the voltage has gone back to 0.7 volts. We can see the circuit in action again. I am bringing the light closer to the circuit and the LED is off. Now away from the circuit, LED is on. So the important design element in this circuit is how to choose the value of this resistor. So this value can change from place to place. So it's important that you measure the ambient light around your place and then you decide this value. But 100K should work for most of the case. But if you are building a real circuit, real life circuit, then you need to measure the intensity and select an appropriate value. So the sensitivity of the LDR sensor entirely depends on the value of this resistor. I hope you are able to understand the concept of LDR sensor. Thank you for watching the video.